Welcome to Lost in the Sonic Boom, the tragic end of Concord. In this video, we will delve into the awe-inspiring story of the legendary Concorde aircraft. It all began in the 1960s when British and French engineers envisioned an aircraft capable of flying faster than the speed of sound. The Concorde's sleek design with its delta wings became an emblem of the supersonic era, symbolizing technological progress and luxury travel. On March 2, 1969, the Concorde took its maiden flight, captivating the world with its breathtaking power and grace. With a cruising speed of over twice the speed of sound, the Concorde revolutionized air travel, shrinking the time it took to cross the Atlantic from hours to just a few. The Concorde boasted advanced engineering, including a revolutionary supersonic engine design, allowing it to fly faster and further than any commercial plane before. The Concorde became the preferred choice of celebrities and world leaders, offering unrivaled luxury and unparalleled service. The Concorde appeared to have everything going for it, the speed, the clientele, and the most enviable ticket you could ever have at the time. So where and how did things go so wrong? Whilst there were many issues facing the Concorde over its years of operation, one in particular seemed to mark the beginning of the end. On July 25, 2000, Air France Flight 4590, a Concorde aircraft, crashed shortly after takeoff from Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. The crash occurred due to a chain of events that started with a tire bursting during takeoff. The burst tire caused debris to strike the fuel tank, leading to a fuel leak and subsequent fire. The fire weakened the aircraft's structure, causing it to break apart in mid-air and crash into a hotel. All 109 passengers and crew on board, as well as four people on the ground, tragically lost their lives. This incident had a significant impact on the Concorde's reputation and played a role in its eventual discontinuation. After this crash, people would begin to scrutinize the Concorde a lot more, and every flaw it had was brought to light. Conversations were had on if the Concorde was worth all the hassle. The main talking points which led to its ultimate demise were as follows. Firstly, limited market demand. The Concorde was designed for transatlantic flights, but the market for supersonic travel was limited. The high ticket prices made it inaccessible for many travelers. The average ticket price for a round trip was as much as $12,000, resulting in low demand. Secondly, high operating costs. The Concorde was an expensive aircraft to operate. Its fuel consumption was significantly higher than subsonic aircraft. The engines were not as efficient as the other regular aircraft, leading to high operating expenses. Thirdly, noise restrictions. The sonic boom produced by the Concorde when breaking the sound barrier restricted its ability to fly over land. This limited its potential routes and made it less practical for many destinations. And finally, environmental concerns. The Concorde's engines emitted large amounts of carbon dioxide, contributing to environmental pollution. As environmental awareness grew, the aircraft faced criticism for its carbon footprint. The world might not have been ready for the Concorde when it made its appearance, but we would always be grateful that once upon we were able to create a technological marvel so ahead of its time, and though the Concorde might be dead, supersonic flight is potentially making a comeback. You'll just have to wait to hear about the rebirth of the new Concorde coming up next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like, comment your thoughts, and most importantly, subscribe.